This is the day when my farrier is coming. So I'm gonna get my horses ready for my farrier. We don't do horseshoes, we just do trims, but I thought it might be helpful in case you have a horse or you're thinking of getting a horse and so you can see what I do. It may be right for you, it may not. It might be just right for me. But I just wanna show you what I do when I'm getting ready for a farrier visit because Pleasant can be a little not so pleasant when the farrier comes because he has a neurological issue, which makes trimming his feet very challenging. So I do everything that I can to help my farrier out. And it's really cool because my farrier is so awesome. He actually has his own YouTube channel now. And I'm gonna introduce you to him today. And then I will link to his YouTube channel. So if you wanted to go check him out and see what he does, you can do that too. So let's go get Frisbee, get him ready for the farrier and Pleasant too. And I'll be right back showing you how I get my horses ready for a farrier visit. So the day is dawning and it's time to get ready for the farrier to come. First thing that I want to do is clean up my ponies. Oh, hello, kitty cat. So we start by grabbing Frisbee, and he's going to get a little bit of a makeover, which will not only make him look better, but it will help the farrier too. Come on, Frisbee. Come on, old man. So as you can see, his legs are really, really furry. And Frisbee has PPID, so he doesn't shed very well. Hopefully he will this summer. But he's pretty dirty from being out and just being a horse. So the first thing I want to do is get him all cleaned up and trim off that excess hair on his legs, which will make it easier on my farrier, I think. And Frisbee's really good with the clippers, so I do wanna give him a little bit of a makeover, get rid of some of these long hairs because winter is almost over. So I figured I might as well do a little trimming and get him nice and cleaned up. see he's so used to the clippers he doesn't even hardly move until I tickle him under his chin. And I'm just removing some of the long excess hairs. And this isn't necessarily needed for the farrier but I figured I was out cleaning him up so I might as well give him a little makeover. And then I got to work on his legs. And you can see I already did his front feet, so now I'm doing the back legs. And I'm just trying to get rid of some of the excess hair that's grown over the winter. And basically just giving him a nice grooming and getting him cleaned up a little bit. 
in anticipation of the fair you're coming later on today. It is a little bit chilly outside, but I do want to try to get off some of the built up mud and stuff that's on his hooves as well as clean up his legs. So then I just wash his legs and scrub his hooves a little bit. And not only does that help to get that dirt and stuff off of his hooves, but it also helps to get any ground and dirt that's built up on his legs as well because I really try to make it easier on the farrier and I want to have my horses clean while he's doing his job. And now Frisbee's done with his bath, or half bath I guess you could say, and this is what his feet look like after trimming and after a bath. So now I'll let him go for a little bit so he can go play and work off some of his excess energy. getting ready for the farrier like the farrier's on his way so what I want to do is make sure that my horses aren't hungry so I give them a little bit of extra hay and then do the finishing touches just brush him off a little bit again but the main thing I'm going to be doing is braiding his tail to keep it out of the way when the farrier is doing his job. And I've done this for I don't even know how long as long as I've had my horses because to me it just makes sense. My horses tails are long and I really don't want them in the way when the farrier is trimming their back feet so I find the easiest way to prevent the tail hair from getting in his way is to braid it so it's out of the way. And then once I have the tail braided, then I tie up the tail so it's almost just kind of like a mud knot. And it's not perfect and it's not gorgeous, but it does keep the tail out of the way for the farrier.
And then of course I need to pick out their hooves. Frisbee is pretty much ready for the farrier now. So I will let him continue to eat until the farrier comes. And now it's Pleasant's turn to get ready. Now Pleasant isn't a huge fan of the trimmers, so I'm not going to be giving him a haircut for the backs of his legs, but I do find that the Sleek and Easy by Farnham works really well to remove the excess hair that's actually a little bit loose and it helps to get rid of the dirt really easily from their legs. Before I braid his tail I am using a detangler so that way the brush just kind of slides through a little bit easier on the long tail hairs. And while I didn't take Pleasant out and pose down his legs, I am going to clean off his hooves and get some of that dirt and grime off of his hooves. And I find the hoof pick with the brush works really well to scrub the hoof and get rid of the dirt and everything nastiness off of the hooves. And for this I just put a little bit of shampoo on the hoof brush and just scrub his hooves. And I actually leave this on for a few minutes because it helps to break down the dirt and grime off of his hooves. And I'll just go from one hoof to the next and then do a little scrubbing.
And once the detanglers had time to soak in, then I can braid Pleasant's tail. Same reason again, I don't want to have his tail hanging out and just getting in the way of the farrier when he's trimming his feet, especially Pleasant's back feet because Pleasant has shivers. So he tends to have issues with his back legs and I find that keeping the tail out of the way is helpful for the farrier. And all I'm using to tie up the tail is just some twine from hay bales. Oh, he's dusty. All right, so here my boys are. They're all ready for their visit with the farrier who will be here any minute now. And now I just have to get the driveway ready. We always bring the horses out here when we're trimming their hooves. So I'm just kind of trying to get rid of some of the dirt and stuff off of the driveway and provides an even surface for his tools. So first horse first. Frisbee always goes first because Frisbee is usually really easy to work with. He does get a little persnickety, but he's easier than pleasant. Basically my job while the farrier is doing his job is just to keep my horse standing still. So this means whatever side my farrier is working on, I make sure to be on that side as well so that I can anticipate if my horse is going to do anything and act out or turn around and like try to nip at the farrier. So he's got one hoof done, now we go to the other front hoof. Like I said in the beginning, both of my horses are just trimmed. We don't do horseshoes because they really don't do a whole lot. So if your horse is getting shoes put on, the process is probably going to be a little bit different, but the whole trimming process should be about the same. There's the third hoof done. 
and by about this time Frisbee's just napping, enjoying the sunshine. And now it's Pleasant's turn. And you can see how Pleasant just kicked out his back leg. That has to do with his shivers. So he's not being mean or disrespectful. He, that's, it's just a neurological problem that he has. done then I just turn the horses out hard to tell how pretty his hooves are but they're nice and trimmed and he's happy to be out and free in his pasture and once I turn the horses out then I have to clean up the remnants of the hoof trimming Well, there you have it. That was my farrier trimming both of my boys' hooves. And I think that my horses tend to be a little more challenging. At least it feels like it from my perspective when I'm holding them. And I've watched other videos when people have had their horses' hooves done and they're just standing there and they're all mellow. And mine have to, I guess, make my farrier work a little bit harder. But in all fairness, Pleasant's problem is not just a behavioral issue. He actually has a neurological issue that causes him to act out the way he does. And some days are good and some days are bad. Just like people, horses have good days and bad days. And today was not a very good day for Pleasant. But my farrier is so kind and he takes the time that he needs to take and he doesn't get flustered and he's just awesome. So I'm really grateful that I found him. And I think you should check out his YouTube channel. It's Horses and Horseshoeing. And I will leave a link down below as well as somewhere up here for you to go check out his channel. It's actually really enjoyable to watch him work and watch him trim horses' hooves. It's like, this is really cool. I sat down and started watching all of his videos and I couldn't stop. I just kept watching them. So do me a huge favor and Go on over to his channel, check out what he's doing, and show him some love, subscribe, share him with your friends because it's actually really neat. And if you subscribe to his channel, I think he's going to put a video out of him actually like doing the whole process of doing one or two of my horse's hooves. And we did some filming of Pleasant when he was having some trouble with his back feet. So that would be really interesting to see. So I'm going to go check that out and I would love it if you would too. So go subscribe to Horses and Horseshoeing and let them know what you think. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects, product reviews, and horse related videos showing you how to be a budget equestrian too. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.